Obviously with satellites belting around the Earth eight times the speed of a bullet, collisions are a real issue. Natural and, and human-made space debris uh, is a real threat to our capabilities. A man-made problem that's been developing ever since we put things into orbit in the 50s, 60s and 70s when we weren't particularly concerned about things uh, flying around up there and uh, not coming down. So we've progressively made the situation worse. Space situational awareness is, as it sounds, is being aware of everything that is occurring um, within a certain radius of, of the Earth. So whether that be satellites, near-Earth objects, uh, it's, it's all about controlling our space, airspace. What we do here at the International Centre for Neuromorphic Systems is work with devices and technologies that try to borrow the good ideas from biology. This is because our nervous system is so powerful in processing sensory data like visual and auditory data. Specifically, we've been working with what we call silicon retinas. Instead of taking a picture like a conventional camera, these cameras only send changes. Each pixel only sends the change in light intensity falling at it. When we did finally put one of these cameras on a telescope, we were blown away by what we could see. So the Astrosite is a mobile uh, observatory, and it's where we're comparing conventional uh, sensors that we would use in a typical telescope to the event-based cameras. That means that we can detect objects with exceptional sensitivity uh, during the day, and we don't need to truck around enormous parts of data that might come from other sensing techniques. Neuromorphic sensors provide a unique way of achieving space situation awareness. This technology that we've developed here at Western Sydney University represents an innovation that we don't often see. We've been successful in being able to demonstrate to experts around the world that we can do things that no one else can do.